I've set up this Genuine PWK 28mm Cahen carb to run on gasoline. You can wipe your tears, I will be back on the boost cruise soon. But I just felt that to progress and to eliminate any errors, it was a wise step to go back to gasoline and uh, see how it works on the normal fuel pump gas. <coughs> As luck would have it, the new piston just arrived. Now I could reuse the old one, it isn't that bad, but um, I thought it was wise to be on the safe side. Let me show you something interesting, something you rarely see. There's a faint line around the piston where the squish gap ends. And this means that the piston has been touching the head. This tells me two things. My squish gap is perfect, for RC fuel at least. And that if I want to rev the engine more than 18k, I will have to increase the gap by a little bit. As I've switched to gasoline, I'm going to add a second gasket, 0.2 millimeter gasket. I expect to gain a thousand, maybe 2000 RPM with gasoline compared to RC fuel. And I'm pretty sure I can rev it past 18k without problems. <laughs> I started out with a 150 main jet and a 58 pilot jet and I went down to 48 pilot jet and 120 main jet. Now as you could see it was running uh, pretty, still pretty rich. So what I'm going to do is uh, raise the needle to the top position, so the leanest position and see how it reacts to that and uh, go from there.
I jetted down to 100 main jet and now it seems to rev okay. I also unhooked the chain to see if it would uh, rev in uh, neutral. One of my clutch springs has uh, broken so the clutch is grabbing very low and it, that way it's hard to make it rev up when it's engaged so early. But uh, the main problem here is that my belt is flipping. That might be because it's riding too high on the pulleys. This is a broader belt, a wider belt than uh, what I've been running before. But you can see here that it isn't really riding properly in the pulley. After that last run, I recorded the outro without watching the footage first. First session on gasoline, a slight success. It could have been disastrous. I was down jetting a lot because it was running so rich. I didn't consider that I was running a brand new ring and it hadn't seated yet properly. As I was warming it up and running it, it was progressively getting leaner and leaner. I managed to get a few dyno pulls, but with the 120 jet, I produced 15.8 horsepower. So that's 0.5 horsepower up from my previous best run on gasoline. So with the extensive modifications I've performed on the engine and to everything, that's pretty much a failure. But wait, first of all, I think jetting is not there yet. I'm also uh, pretty sure fuel frothing is becoming a problem at the higher RPM and ignition timing is probably too retarded. I was focused on the temperature gauges to make sure nothing went wrong and I actually didn't notice what was going on down at the car. Jetting is probably not totally right and timing is probably off a bit too but it's pretty obvious what is the main problem here. Fuel for me. Severe fuel for me. I've been here before and uh, the float ball well I made could help. So could a softer intake. Of course rebalancing the crank could help. A pumper car or injection should solve the issue. That's interesting. I think I'll have to think about it. Thanks for watching.